for the back pattern, we have to go in 1 inch or 2.5 centimeters for the zipper allowance. We mark this down until the end of our pattern paper. Then we connect all the points with a straight line. We will write zipper allowance. Then we fold this in. This side will be the center of our pattern. We will write center back. On the top side, we will square to mark our guideline. The waist measurement for a small figure is 26 inches or 66 centimeters. We get one fourth of this by folding the tape measure twice. Then we lay the tip of the tape measure on the center back on the guideline until one fourth of the waist measurement. We mark this. As we have added a waistline easing of one fourth of an inch or 0.6 of a centimeter on our back bodies pattern and our front bodies pattern, we have to do the same for our back skirt pattern. Now we will be placing a one inch waist dart here. So we have to make up for that by placing a one inch or 2.6 centimeter dart allowance on this side. We mark this. To get the center of our dart lines, we have to get one eighth of our waist measurement. For a small figure, the waist measurement is 26 inches or 66 centimeters. We fold the tape measure three times to get one eighth of this measurement. Then we lay the tip of the tape measure on the center back until one eighth of the waist measurement. We mark this. Then we square this downwards. For the center waist dart length, we lay the tip of the tape measure on the waistline level and we go down 6 inches or 15.3 centimeters. We mark this. Then, from our center line or mark, we go out on both sides one half of an inch or 1.3 centimeters. We mark both sides. Then we connect all these points with a straight line. To draw the final waistline curve, please remember that for our back skirt pattern, we always go down from the waistline level one half of an inch or 1.3 centimeters. Please remember this. We mark this. Then, using this side of our curve ruler, we will connect these two points. This now is the final waistline curve. So we will have to cross this out. The lower hip level for a small figure is 6 inches or 15.3 centimeters. For something like this, we can actually round this off to 15 centimeters. But anyway, we mark this. Then, we will square this outwards. The lower hip measurement for a small figure is 34 inches or 86.5 centimeters. We get one fourth of this by folding the tape measure twice and we lay the tip of the tape measure on the center back until one fourth of the lower hip measurement. We mark this. Now to get the upper hip level, 
we lay the tip of the tape measure on the original waistline level until the lower hip level. We fold the tape measure once to get the center. This now will be the upper hip level. We square this outwards. The upper hip measurement for a small figure is 32 inches or 81 centimeters. We fold the tape measure twice to get one fourth of this measurement. Then we lay the tip of the tape measure on the center back until one fourth of the upper hip measurement. We mark this. Now that we have these two points, we can actually draw the upper seam line. We do this by using this side of our curve ruler. The measurement of the length of the skirt for a small figure is 22 inches or 56 centimeters. We lay the tip of the tape measure on the original waistline level until the length of the skirt which is 22 inches or 56 centimeters. We mark this. Then we square this outwards. If we are drafting a straight skirt silhouette, all we have to do is get one fourth of the lower hip measurement and bring it down to the hemline level. We mark this. Then we connect these two points with a straight line for a straight skirt silhouette. Please remember that though we made an adjustment on the waistline for a box skirt pattern, if we are drafting a straight skirt silhouette, the hemline of our box skirt pattern will always remain straight. Now, if we are drafting an A-line silhouette, we have to add one and a half inches or 3.8 centimeters. Mark this. If we want a wider hemline for an A-line silhouette, we can add two inches or five centimeters. Mark this. Now before we draw a straight line for our lower side seam, please refer to the front skirt pattern. We have to follow the adjustment that we did on the front skirt for an A-line silhouette. We can see that we just made an adjustment of 1.5 inches or 3.8 centimeters. So we have to do the same for our back skirt pattern. We cross this out and we draw a straight line. This line should be smooth. We have to make an adjustment. Oops. There. Remember that for a straight skirt silhouette on the box skirt pattern, the hemline always remains straight. But for an A-line silhouette, we have to refer to our front skirt pattern. Whatever adjustment we made here, we have to do on our back skirt pattern. So now, we have to go down one-fourth of an inch or 0.6 of a centimeter. We mark this. Remember that we always have to refer to the front skirt pattern to make the final hemline curve of our back skirt pattern. Now, we use this side of our curve ruler to connect the final hemline of our back skirt pattern. Again, we check if all our measurements are correct before we cut our back skirt pattern. We keep the zipper allowance folded so that it will follow the curve of our waistline. 
Here now is the final box skirt pattern of an A-line silhouette for a small figure. Here is the front skirt pattern. Here is the back bodice pattern and the front bodice pattern.